You will not believe all the reports of violence that broke out when people rushed to get the newest pair of Air Jordans. A crowd busted through this door in Indiana. And remember, as you're watching these pictures, this is all over shoes. A few people got trampled. Doors were ripped right off their hinges. The Air Jordan retro shoes just went on sale early Friday morning. Since I was a kid, I've been, you know, working hard just to come up here early in the morning just to wait in <laughs> line to get these shoes. I was the first person out of everybody that was out here to get these right here. How many pairs of Air Jordans do you have? I have about nine pair of Air Jordans, but it does not matter about those. It matters about these right here. This was the scene in Kansas City where people were sprinting through the halls. But that's nothing compared to the small in the Seattle area where people use pepper spray to break up a crowd that was pushing and shoving. I got burnt, man. Look, it came all over my face. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> look at it, you can see it. My eye, look. I can't even, my, if I lick my lips, or my mouth will burn. It was just too hostile, too dangerous. So some pepper spray was used because that definitely gets people's attention. Part of the problem is that each store has a limited amount of about 150 pairs, and each pair costs about 180 bucks. But they resell on eBay for almost 500 bucks. People in Georgia say one mom even left her two- and five-year-old children in her car while she went shopping. And officers arrested three other people for breaking down the mall door during all the chaos. A rep for Nike told USA Today that the company is concerned by the violence and urges everyone to be respectful and safe.